This is an opportunity for you to see the CAST command. CAST stands for convert and store, but we're not going to be storing anything here. We're just going to be converting to a different data type. That's the way I want you to think of CAST. You're going to convert something temporarily to a new data type. And here you can see we're going to CAST 2011-0101 as a date and it's going to display. I can do the same thing by saying cast 1110101 as a date. And they go, oh, that's how they store this internally. Yeah, that's the same date. I can then say I'm going to cast 11-01-01 as a date. Teradata thinks we're talking about the year 1900. Remember our formula was really set to be the year minus 1900. Teradata likes to run the math assuming you're starting the formula from January 1st, 1900. So actually any dates that are before 1900 are stored as negative numbers. And I'm going to give you an opportunity to see that in just a few seconds. Now we're going to cast the date of 2011-0101 as an integer and it's going to show us how Teradata is going to store this internally and that's 1110101. Now let's take a look at our 1800 date. We're going to cast the year January 1st, 1800 as an integer and as you can see it's minus 999899 and that's the way it works. This lesson is brought to you by Coughing Data Warehousing. Do you have two different systems that hold your data? Our query tool, the Nexus, now lets you move data freely between them. Great for data movement and for joins, the Nexus is ready to help you cross boundaries. Visit coughingdw.com for more details. Hi, this is Tom Coughing. Thank you so much for watching the video. Please hit subscribe to make sure you are kept up to date on all our videos.